third round pick of the Minnesota Wild in the 2022 NHL draft. He is Winnipeg Ice forward, Mikey Mill. Mikey, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, a prospect of the Minnesota Wild. Tell, tell me about the weekend, the uh, the NHL draft that was, and, and just your reaction to uh, to being selected by Minnesota. Yeah, well, thank you, first off. You know, uh, last weekend was was super special for myself, you know, watching day one and, and watching teammates uh, Matt Savoy and Connor Geeky go. That was that was awesome to start the start the first day. And then uh, the next day, uh, seeing seeing myself get picked by Minnesota was was such a surreal moment. Uh, no words can really put into how it felt. Um, it, was, it was a super cool experience and it's something I'll always remember. Who was the first person who called you uh, from the Wild organization just to welcome you to the group? Yeah, I think it was their their player development guy, uh, Brad Bombardier. Uh, he he called me and, and he was just super excited that that I was uh, there where he got me. And um, it was a pretty cool moment just talking with him and um, kind of followed up with a couple more phone calls from from friends and and family. So it was a it was a pretty cool day. You mentioned uh, Matt Savoy and Connor Geeky, both of whom went, of course, uh, on, on the Thursday night. But tell you what, go to Minnesota and you've got the chance to uh, to be potentially a future pro teammate with a guy that you're playing with right now in Carson Lambos. Uh, how excited are you to kind of share that with him and, and to be part of the Wild organization with somebody that you've been playing with for the last couple of years? Yeah, it was super cool. Uh, obviously, when I got picked, it wasn't the first thing that came up in my head. But then uh, once I kind of looked into the, the roster and stuff, I kind of remember that he was in Minnesota. So uh, just being at camp with him last week was, was awesome. And, and we've become really good friends as well. So it was super nice having a familiar face there and maybe one day be teammates down the road. So uh, it was super cool. What was that camp experience like for you? Cause I know, I mean, for the, a lot of the guys that, that were picked here uh, in, in early July, it was a pretty quick turnaround to to get your first taste of, uh, of life in a pro camp, but take me through uh, the experience in Minnesota and, and what you took away from it. Yeah, it was a very pro experience. It was something like I've, I've never been to before. Um, yeah. Getting drafted on Friday and then leaving on the Saturday was definitely a quick turnaround, but um, everything was just so first class um, you get there and they're, they're greeting you. Everyone was so nice there and so well welcoming. And um, it's just such a pro facility and, and you really feel like a part of the team. They, they treat you like an adult and they treat you like a pro. So um, the biggest thing I took away is just uh, be there and, and belong, belong there. Um, you, you're there because they, they, they picked you. So um, it was super cool to just kind of feel welcomed by, by all the staff. And um, I'm definitely excited to be in Minnesota. Of course, you've spent a few years now in the ice organization, Mikey, and, uh, you know, have always kind of been relied on as, as somebody to provide offense and provide a bit of a two-way game for that team. But, I mean, you look at your numbers from last season and, and it just jumps off the page, the production that you were able to put up with uh, with Winnipeg. Uh, you know, take me through this past season with the ice, the playoff run, the regular season success. Uh, you know, was it was it something that changed for you? Was it a, just a case of feeling more confident and, and being more familiar with the league? But but what do you attribute your, uh, your kind of, astronomical numbers too, uh, in terms of, of, you know, your development and, and, and spending time in that organization. I thought I, uh, I thought I had a pretty good summer. Um, I had a good summer before the season. And, and when I went to camp, I had a lot of confidence. Um, that was one thing that I, I felt like I had to play with is you got to go out there and be a big body and, and be a player that can uh, be relied on in, in all situations. So uh, going into the year, I had a lot of confidence and, and the coach did a great job of giving me an opportunity to do that. And, um, our, myself as well as the team got off to a really hot start. I think we won our first 11 games and, um, everyone was contributing as well as myself. So, uh, the start definitely helped my, my progress throughout the year and, um, just staying consistent throughout, uh, there was obviously ups and downs, but, um, just staying with it, staying confident and, and believing in myself was one of the biggest things this year. And, um, it definitely paid off and, and it's going to be something that I continue to do down the road. Boy, and you guys dealt with injuries almost all of last season too. It seemed like there were large chunks of the season where guys were out of in and out of the lineup or, or away on international duty. Mikey, uh, when you look at your coaching staff and you look at uh, in particular head coach James Patrick, I mean, you know, how much of a steadying, calming influence is he behind the behind the bench and in, in you know, kind of giving you guys the right environment to succeed in? 
Yeah. Our coaching staff was great. Um, you know, they, they believe in every player and, and we had a next man up mentality. Um, I think it showed throughout the year and, and the playoffs. Um, we, we believe in that room and we think anyone can and play a big role. And um, our coaches did a great job of that. Um, you know, everyone was excited to play. Everyone was excited to be, be at the rink. So uh, they did just a great job of making everyone feel welcome. And I think that's why we had our success. Looking ahead now to the fall, it's obviously, you know, uh, the potential for you to, to potentially turn pro, but we'll also come back to Winnipeg as a, as a veteran leader on what should be a pretty good team uh, with the ice in 2022-23. What are some of the things that you're working on over the summer, you know, to, to try and take another step, much like uh, the one you did this last year? Yeah, I think just go to the gym every day and, and have a purpose. Try to get better every day. Um, something I'm going to work on is my speed and just kind of building some upper body strength. Um, obviously, that jump is, is a big one, but um, my goal next year is to play in the American League. And if that's not the case, then hopefully I can return to Winnipeg and be an impact player and a leader on that team. So um, I just have the mentality of getting better every day and, and we'll take it from there.